Hello, KL. I have a very funny story that I'd like to share with you today. It just came into the library yesterday. It's called Scarlet's Tail. You see the way tail is spelled? T-A-L-E? That's how the word is spelled when we are talking about a story. But look at this. You see the illustration? Looks like it's about a tail. T-A-I-L, an animal tail. Let's see what this is about. It's written by a woman named Audrey Vernick, and it's illustrated by someone who goes by just one name, Jarvis. So let's begin, Scarlet's Tale. When Scarlet was born, her parents did the usual counting. Two eyes, one nose, 10 fingers, 10 toes. Also, one long, fluffy, fuzzy, furry tail. That was a surprise. Hmm. Like most little babies, Scarlet couldn't talk. But unlike the others, she made herself understood. Her parents knew that Scarlet loved dogs and the color red, that it was exciting to be sudsed up into a soapy snowman. And there was nothing better than swinging in the yard, watching the sun shine through the leaves. You see that Scarlet has a tail, T-A-I-L, huh? Sure, there were challenges. Her clothes had to be custom made to allow a fluffy, fuzzy, furry tail to poke through. And once Scarlet learned to walk, low shelves needed to be cleared off. Her parents became very skilled at tail holes and rearranging. Her parents were happy to do it. Scarlet was happy too. Life at home was pretty great. But on Scarlet's first day of preschool, things got less great. Kids stared. Some grown-ups did too. Scarlet didn't want her parents to leave, but they did. It was a hard day. At circle time, the other kids kept pointing at Scarlet's tail. Scarlet decided to sit on it. That worked. Until snack time, Scarlet's tail went wild. It slapped the teacher's hands, sending all the cookies flying. And that wasn't all. Scarlet's tail knocked things off tables and shelves and benches and chairs. At pickup time, the teacher asked each child to name the best part of her day. Right now, Scarlet said as she ran out the door. The next day, Scarlet played by herself. When she climbed on a swing, she could feel Callie and Josh watching. She was lonely, but as she started to move back and forth and watched the sun shimmering through the leaves, her tail started wagging slowly. Callie and Josh started to smile. Scarlet pumped the swing higher and her tail wagged faster. 
Callie and Josh's smiles grew bigger. And when Callie and Josh climbed on the swings next to Scarlet, her wagging tail pushed her higher still. From that day on, Scarlet and Callie and Josh were together at all the times. Circle, free, snack, story. Each morning when Scarlett spotted her friends walking into the classroom, her tail would wag back and forth super fast until it was nearly moving in circles. Sometimes Callie and Josh would wag their own behinds and so would all the kids watching them. Before long, most kids at Scarlet School wagged their behinds when they were happy. It was a very waggy school. Actually, most places Scarlet went became waggy places. Happiness can be kind of contagious. When Scarlett's parents shared the news that there'd be a new baby in the family, it seemed that Scarlett's tail wagged for nine months straight. And when her brother was finally born, it was Scarlett's turn to do the usual counting. 10 fingers, 10 toes, two eyes, and one long, wiggly, waggly. Can you guess? <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> Trunk. <laughs> that was a surprise. Oh boy. That Scarlet's Tale. That is a funny book. Hey, we're all different and we're all special. And I think this is a great book that celebrates our differences. Enjoy your day, KL. See you soon.